Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rodko Tarot and this is going to be uh, Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and Gemini Rising weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for uh, November 5th to November, to November 11th, 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards uh, I want to remind you once again guys that this is just a, a general reading for Gemini star signs and it is not your personal reading Therefore, uh, I will try here my best to explain you the meanings of the cards, uh, their synergy in the spread, but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is uh, listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And uh, one more thing, the monthly videos of uh, November are already out, so if you want to indulge yourself even deeper of what November holds for your star sign, feel free to check them here on this YouTube channel. So, going to the tarot spread first, we have a four card spread as per usual. The first position here is about the topic of uh, your Gemini's week, and we do have the death card. So... It's it's a week of um, of change, obviously, because the death card literally means change. And if we don't have a question and other cards to know where the change is gonna take or what is the prerequisite of that change, we can literally say that that it is only you know something major is to happen that is to shift a, a certain field of your life. Um, now, what is important to be said with the death card is that uh, no matter how we how much we, on in this case you, Gemini's, try to uh, borrow its time, mm, the ending and the new beginning is going to be inevitable. And the more one um, is trying to borrow time of this uh, certain thing, career-wise or relationship-wise, it doesn't have to be, again, the entirety of your career. Now, this card doesn't mean that you are to be fired from job or to break your relationship. Now, this card could also signify the very next level of that. It could signify uh, your promotion, for example, that your current position ends, naturally, of course, and you are to take the upper position. Now, uh, what I'm trying to say here is, is that it will be very variable for every single kind of a situation. But my point here was is that you are to reach a, a natural ending of a cycle of life or a cycle of development. And uh, you should not, even if it is a little bit despondent here, even, even if it is something that you will uh, have difficulty to part with, uh, one should not struggle against that specific change because this card says that life is changing uh, with that kind of event. It is not taken away. Um, <clears throat> the death card usually uh, manifests itself by uh, basically ending a thing which further in the future, even if we don't see it right now, as, uh, as such is going to obstruct this big way. And just to give you an example here, uh, it could be, for example, if it is an ending of your relationship, uh, that means that this relationship will be obstruction for you uh, further into the future in a couple of months or in a six months for that matter. And uh, when the death card, whatever the death card takes away, uh, it means that it is something which you did not like, a dead weight, all right? And that's why the death manifests, to take the death weight away. But let's see what the next card points, which is the core of the situation here. That is to be the Ten of Pentacles. So we do have a entirely new era what is to happen. The Ten of Pentacles in this specific follow-up points that you will you are to become a lot more independent than usual. So this is an ending of a certain obligations here that we do have, an ending of a certain strings that other people had upon you, certain influence that others exerted upon your life, upon your relationship, upon your career. You are again to become a lot more independent 
and that is to give you uh, an opportunity to as i said embark or start manifest build up you name it a a new era in your life so in generally this is going to be a, a very very positive change for you one thing i want to say here is, is that if you have recently made any kind of investments like time like efforts you know like feelings and emotions as well etc etc this speaks that those investments are to change your life and this is going to be for the better. Uh, one more thing as well uh, here is, is that um, if someone tries to reconcile it with you, it doesn't mean there has to be an ex-girlfriend or a boyfriend here. It could be a friend that back in the past betrayed your trust, but they uh, tried to make it up for it right now you should give them a second chance because these couple of cards are pointing that they really learned their lesson and they know what they did wrong back then and they have the full consciousness here to fix it to repair it and to never do it again <clears throat> the challenges that you are to face throughout the week which are causing predicaments this is the page of cups so what the page of cups suggests it is um on a global level, it is the reassessment of one's position and uh, uh, one should stop searching, uh, if I may express myself for an excuse or for a minor detail, so one does not do a specific thing. So what you need to, what, what my point here guys is that you may find it challenging to see the bigger picture here, but instead being more prone to uh, be focused on the minor details like for example the betrayal from the past I mean don't be stuck on that particular betrayal of trust from the past but be more prone to the bigger picture that this person could be of any use for you that you had a good time but in the past and you can have it further into the future that everybody deserves a second chance etc etc additionally it will be you will find it difficult to reposition yourself to reassess your position to make a critical assessment and judgment of yourself as well because as we have mentioned here this is a week where you are to start a new era either into your relationship either into your career or maybe in both a new era is to be started with new positions that's why you have to be agile when it comes to um, fitting yourself into the new code of conduct into the new daily routine or in generally into the new circumstances because this could be only about circumstances not about daily routine a very important as well is to know that this card points that you will find it very challenging to be emotionally connected with someone or with something as well maybe because of this loss of trust that you had experienced in the past and now you will find hard to believe that whatever you are feeling it is the true emotions <clears throat> But nonetheless, here the page, uh, the page of cups asks you to be um, to embrace this shifting of um, this this shifting of environment that it is happening here. This uh, this freedom which is open, which is offered to you, because all that I can see here, it is a freedom that you are to receive, and when. Uh, for example, look at the um, look at the convicts when they get released from jail. Suddenly, they have little um, understanding what they have to do with their freedom. You know, so if, when you don't, when you no longer have those strings or obligations, you may find it difficult to uh, to manifest your freedom. You know, so um, that's why the reassessment of one's position and in generally the one that needs to look at the big picture is very uh, is very important uh, that could be as well related to uh, leaving home you know you detach from your parents you finally have your freedom and what you are to do from now on well you have to be more calculative you know you need to reassess your positions here and to readjust them because your parents will no longer uh, support you as they have supported you before but in the same time you will not have additional obligations to them and the last card here it is the um, advice from tarot this is the queen of wands and the queen of wands it is about knowing 
um, in that specific case uh, it, it is about that you need to enjoy life alright because uh, the Queen of Wands is one of the cards that have an exceptional knack of how to make good time in that specific follow-up and how to capitalize on resources how to lead as well and uh, how to um, how to make successful business maneuvers so it's kind of have that specific sense of where the wind blows and always go with uh, with the side of the benefits if I may express myself that way so it's kind of like it doesn't fight for lost cause and that's why you should not fight for lost cause and it is something that I've mentioned in the start no matter how much you try to uh, borrow the time of whatever is going away that it is marked by the death card there is no much point because first of all it's going to be very stressful and second of all it's going to end either way so basically readjust yourself as best as you can by uh, um, <clears throat> relying on your um, exceptional sense of the human nature here and uh, acute business sense as well and the knack of having good time and to enjoy life uh, so now this was the uh, tarot reading now let me shuffle the Lenormand cards and we are to check a event that is to happen to you which uh, you should either look forward to or uh, you should try to avoid it depends are you liking it or not so uh, the first card that we do have that is to be the heart and the heart stands for love, it stands for relationship, it stands for flirting, it stands for commitment as well. The next card that we do have, this is to be the tree. Now the tree start, stands for longevity, it stands for health, but we don't speak for health at all. And it, starts, it stands for root, like uh, establishment. So you see where this is going, right? I mean longevity of love, longevity of commitment, longevity of health if you want to say it that way, you know, a flirting that is going to uh, evolve into something a, a lot stable. I'm curious what the next card is. That will be the bear and the bear stands for authority, it stands for um, um, <clears throat> strong-willed and um, strong-headed it stands for power as well and for resources so uh, this is going to be a, a very powerful love that you can capitalize on a, a very powerful relationship as well that can be uh, long living with abundance here that we do have the resources or that could be a commitment which is going to go for a long way for a long run and is gonna offer you riches because this card as a resources it stands as well for riches now depends on your personal on what you're going through your life these cards will manifest in one of those um, you know of those events however should you take them or not that is entirely your choice because you have a, a commitment that is going to uh, be a long lasting and is going to give you riches but are you going to contribute or involve yourself into that commitment well that is entirely your choice same goes for the love same goes for the relationship so um, just make up your mind and go along with it so that being said, Gemini's, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And um, again, uh, be mindful that this was just a general reading for Gemini star sign and it was not your personal reading. Therefore, I did my best here to uh, explain you the meanings of the cards and uh, <clears throat> to as well their synergy in the spread. But at the end, it forced you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. If you want me to do that for you, well, that is a subject for a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.